Welcome chat to another gang. If you guys want to get featured in the next video, all you guys have to do is like this video, subscribe, post notifications on, and leave a nice comment with your gamer tag. The PPSH41 from Vanguard. Make sure this is the one from Vanguard, not Cold War, guys. This is absolutely amazing. Start out with a Rico booster for the increased fire rate and slight reduction of accuracy. Now we're gonna move on to the Empress 140mm Rapid. Now this is controversial because I actually tried out the 230mm BO3P and I think this is actually a better TTK. So if you want a regular ADS build, this is fantastic, Empress 140mm Rapid. But if you want an overall hip fire and ADS build, this is even better. It has increased fire rate, better recoil recovery. The recoil pattern is so much easier to control. And I mean, the only upside to this is you get better ADS versus this, you get better sprint to fire. So make sure you have this ready. I think a lot of people are gonna choose the sprint to fire over the ADS anyway. Throw on the slate reflector or the niter or no sight. I see some people choose no sight and I mean, they work out pretty fine. So whichever one you wanna use is completely up to you. Throw on the skeletal. I'm gonna try to say the word. You guys let me know if I say it wrong. Kovalevskaya skeletal for the i probably i probably destroyed it sprint to fire speed movement speed slide reduction initial firing recoil no big deal throw on the tight grip for accuracy and recoil during sustained fire with no cons whatsoever some people might want to use fleet for increased movement speed weapon swap quickness if you think you can handle the recoil then go ahead and throw on fleet do you fly around the map feel great throw on quick for increased sprint speed throw on the polymer grip for flinch resistance and accuracy and recoil during sustained fire this is Incredible. If you don't want to use this, you can use hatch grip for recoil control and flinch resistance. Completely up to you, whichever one you guys want to use. Uh, throw on the 8mm Nambu 71 round mags for the recoil control and accuracy, fire rate, and magazine ammo capacity. You get a reduction of bullet velocity and range, movement speed, bullet penetration, and damage. But trust me, with how fast this hits and with the lack of recoil, this thing's going to be a melting machine. It's going to laser and it's just going to shoot so fast. You're not even going to worry about the damage or bullet velocity and range. Throw on subsonic if you want to. If you don't want to, you can use on lengthened and then you can get an increased bullet velocity, but they're interchangeable, whichever one you're gonna use, subsonic or bullet velocity lengthened. M1930 stripe angled for the horizontal recoil control, slide reduction, aim down sight speed, and sprint to fire speed. This is specialized for the horizontal recoil control, so this is the one that you actually wanna use, especially since that's a recoil pattern the PPSH had.
I'm dead. Thank you very much. Map. UAV getting flyover.
GG.